One of the casualties of the glass fire is the Napa Valley landmark, the 60-year-old Meadowood Resort. The building that houses the restaurant at Meadowood, a Michelin three-star culinary destination, has been destroyed. The resort is also a renowned vacation destination and plays host to many important events. Joining us now during this difficult time is the managing director of the Meadowood Estate, David Pearson. David, we are so sorry to see what has happened. Thank you for connecting with us because we have so many people here who care so much about Meadowood. Um, so thank you. Um, what's been destroyed no, on you. the property, if you could you know, just give us a sense for, we saw in the video that the restaurant, uh, lovingly known as Tram, uh, that building was destroyed. But tell us what has survived. That's right. Well, we just went on the property for the first time this afternoon, earlier this afternoon, Mr. Harlan and I and a small group were um, allowed on the property to to see uh, see the see the buildings see what remains mm -hmm. sheriff took us around and indeed um, heartbreakingly the restaurant the grill um, tennis club and certain parts of uh, that building were, were completely destroyed number of the lodging buildings were destroyed but I have to share with you I was pleased by the number of buildings that survived and the number of trees and the number of hillsides that survived. So it, as fires can be, they're very random in where they burn and how they burn. Some hillsides were completely devastated and looked like the surface of Mars. And when a building bur burnt to the ground, the devastation was heartbreaking. But there were a number of buildings, including the pool area and the, the grill out there and uh, the spa area and the fitness building, a number of the tennis courts did survive, and a number of the lodge, lodgings survived unscathed. So it's it's really a mixed a mixed uh, experience to go up there now. Sometimes words fail to describe how everyone is feeling. Uh, but if I, I may ask you to try, you know, from Christopher Costell, uh, the chef of the restaurant at Meadowood, to the entire staff and everybody, um, what's going through your minds and your emotions right now? Well, the phrase heartbreaking is overused, but this is simply a heartbreaking moment. And the evidence of that is the overwhelming number of messages we're receiving on all channels, from text to Instagram to any sort of social media and Facebook, where so many people through the years have had unforgettable moments, experiences, come and enjoyed being with friends and with family, and have, have experienced and absorbed what Meadowood is to such a degree that so many of us are feeling the loss and the impact of, of this fire that um, it is hard to put in words, but it's a very heart-wrenching mm -hmm. uh, experience to go through. Yeah. Can you hear Spencer? He's my, joining us. Can you hear me? Yeah. My, my heart I breaks. I can now, yes. Uh, yeah, my, my heart breaks for what's, uh, what's happened there. Uh, and as you know, it, that Meadowood is a place that's very dear to me. Uh, were there, how many guests or staff members were on the property uh, when, when this started? It was, a, it was a small number, and I don't have the exact number, but again, the, well, not again, but we had evacuated the property. We had sufficient warning, and so there was a very small number on the property at the time. Yeah. And I guess there's, there's probably no way to even imagine uh, how long it'll take you to rebuild and, and, and resume uh, normal no, operation. No, at this, at this point, yeah, that's right. At this point, it's really impossible. To, we literally have just stepped on the property this morning for yeah. the first time. Um, and so we'll be, we'll be working that out. But I'll, I'll share with you this one moment that I had with Mr. Harlan on the phone the night before last. And we were talking about what had to happen and the next things to come and, and the situation. He wasn't bemoaning and he yeah. wasn't angry or upset. Uh, instead, he looked at or he said to me, we have to find something positive out of all this. And I said, that's right. And then he thought, and he said in a very serious, intentional tone, this gives us the opportunity to rebuild this better than before. Wow. And I loved, I loved his enthusiasm, his determination, and the seriousness with which yeah. we are moving towards rebuilding this. It's an amazing place, truly. I mean, it is a destination and a tourism landmark. Talk about how this might impact the region, um, being sort of the anchor spa resort there and, and restaurant, um, and all the workers whose livelihoods depend on it. Well, that's, that's absolutely right. And it's going to be a difficult thing to go through no matter what we do uh, because of the impact of Meadowood, uh, the number of people that come in to stay and to visit and to enjoy the facilities uh, on the property. There will be a period of time of transition. 
how long it will be and what we can offer to the people of Napa and to visitors coming, we still can't say, uh, but we'll do everything we can to bring back Meadowood as quickly as we can and, and again, hopefully better than before, remembering and recognizing how important it has been through the years and how important the Harlan family wants it to be mm -hmm. for years to come. And with regard to the employees, again, our sensitivities and our understandings are going to go out to them and we'll do everything we can to um, protect them and work with them and give them the best possible opportunities. No doubt. You've always been a great community partner. I imagine that will be continuing. Uh, Spencer, I know you used to go up there and do your weather forecast before the uh, auction Napa Valley. Just a terrific event. Um, we know that COVID kind of put a stop to that already this year and, and now this. So, um, But we believe you. We believe you that you will build it better than yep. ever before. It's been, it's been uh, a common ground. It was uh, in 1981, or 1980, actually. Here's Spencer. Robert Mondavi, <laughs> when Robert Mondavi met with Bill Harlan, yeah. and the two of the men created the idea that Meadowood should be a common ground for the Napa Valley. And, of course, the first auction Napa Valley was a year later in 1981. And ever since, Bill Harlan and Meadowood have been dedicated to, to that proposition. So it's more than just an idea that we should rebuild it. It's a commitment and a philosophy and a deep, deeply held belief. That's well, fantastic. Spencer, just looking at that video makes me want to just, you know, go up there. But again, I know it's going to be a well, but we're pulling for you. And we so are. is the entire Bay Area. Yeah. Uh, David Pearson, thank you so much for joining us. Take good care, okay? Thank you.